You know, if you take a look at two rays that have the common, common endpoint, it turns out they form an angle. An angle, angles are just beautiful, and they appear so often in geometry, it's nice to celebrate them. So I just want us to think about angles and see how we can actually express them and name them. So here are a bunch of rays that you notice all have a common endpoint, D. And they shoot off, and in between them we see various angles. I want us to name three angles from this picture. Well, it's sort of easy to do because I can see three angles. For example, one angle will be this angle right here. Now, how am I going to write that? Well, the notation that we use is we write a little angle symbol. And then I'm going to write these letters. And the order of the letters always has to be that the center letter is going to be the common endpoint that the two rays share. So in this case, I could write it as A, D, B. And that represents this angle right there. Can I, think, can I see another different angle? Well, sure. I could see an angle that looks like this, here, here. How would I write that one? Well, I'd write that one as the angle symbol, telling me this is an angle. A, D, C. Notice the D has to be the center letter. And can we think of a third angle here? That was this angle right here, this real big one. But is there another angle that we haven't seen yet? Well, there is. There's this little one right here. How can I write that if I want to talk about it? I'd say angle. Now, would I say angle B, C, D? No, because remember, the center letter has to be that common endpoint. So I'd say B, D, C. I could, however, say C, D, B. That's OK. Either way, as long as the D is in the center. And that describes this angle right here. So actually, naming angles is not a big deal. We use the little naming symbol like this, angle. And then remember that that center letter represents that common endpoint.